part C. Um, we are asked to find the area of region R, which is a shaded region in the figure. And we see that it's bounded by the tangent TN, the minor arc NM, and the tangent MT. Okay? So basically, what we see here is we have two identical triangles, which are QTN and QTM. And we have um, this sector of the circle, okay, which is the sector QNM, the much more minor sector. Okay. And if I take if I find the area of um, these two triangles together, which is like this kite shape, if I don't find the area of these two triangles together, and I subtract from it the area of the sector, I'll be left with the area that I need. Okay, so you've got something that looks like, say this, um, you've got like this kite shape, which is made up of these two identical triangles, not very good, minus the area of this sector, Okay, and that will be the shaded region. Okay, so I'll try to make it accurate as I can, but no. Uh, so we need to find first the area of one of the triangles. So the area of, let's say, QN, QTN, area of triangle QTN. Okay, the area of triangle QTN is going to be a half times the base times the height, although we don't have this length. We could find it easily. Well, uh, we could we could do that, I suppose. Yeah, we could find the length of NTN if you want. Or we could use a half AB sine C. So we could use a half of this angle. Let's just find the length TN. We know that TN is a shorter side. So it's going to be the square root of the root, root 50 squared is 50 minus root 5 squared is 5. So it's going to be the square root of 45. This is the square root of 45. Okay. Uh, the square root of 50 squared Okay, the square root of root 50 squared is 50, minus the square root of root 5 squared is 5, which gives you 45, so it's the square root of 45. So we can see that the area of the, the triangle QTN is going to be a half times the base, we can say that's root 5, times the height, we can say that's root 45. Okay, um, so we can just work out what that is exactly in terms of um, proper thirds. We can say uh, root 5 times root 45. Oops, 45. And that gives us the 15. It gives us the exact value, actually. It gives us 15. Okay. Um, so that gives us 15 over 2. Okay, it's 15 over 2 because we've got the half there. And, of course, the, the area of the kite, the area of the kite, okay, which is that whole two triangles together, is going to be the kite Q, M, T, N, is going to be 2 times 15 over 2, which is 15 square units. Okay? And we need to find now the area of the sector. Okay? We know the angle to three decimal places, which is quite sufficient, 2.498. And we know the radius is root 5. So the area of a sector when we're dealing with radians, remember, is a half r squared theta. We don't use the theta over 360 times 2 pi r because now we're talking about radians. And this is the formula when we're dealing with radians, the angles in radians. So it's a half times root 5 squared, which is going to give you 5, times the angle, which is 2.498. Okay, that's the area of the sector. So that's going to give you 5 over 2 times 2.498. So you have 5 over 2, 2.5 times 2, oops, 2.498. And that gives you 6.245. It's an exact answer. Well, not exact, actually. 245, because that was three three decimal places. So if I take away from my 15, so the, the required area, the area which is I think marked R, isn't it? Yes, the area of R is going to be 15 minus 6.245 so you get 15 minus your answer so you have 15 take away your answer which gives you 8.755 
8.755. Did they tell us how to round it? No, so we should best best round it to 3SF, which is 8.76 units squared. Okay, I'm supposed to say units, let me make that a bit neater. Okay, units squared. Units squared. And there we have our answer to part C. I hope that was quite clear to you. Um, it's kind of gone off the page. Wait a second. Make it straight again. There we are. Okay. So I hope that was quite clear to you. All right. So we found the area of this one of the triangles and the multiplied by two gave us the area of the whole of this kite shape. And we took away from it the area of the sector. Okay. And we're left with the shaded region area. Okay. Okay. So thank you for watching.